So what do you do when you've got family memories on old films? Here's a box of them here. I've got uh, Super 8, 8mm. Um, God, I'm not sure how many. <laughs> there could be 30 or 40 of them here. Now, in the past, I've uh, sent them out to be uh, copied to uh, digital, and um, I've had uh, uh, various success. And as time has gone on, technology has gotten better, and um, I've decided to uh, do this all in-house from now on. And I'm going to do that with this. That's it. I have to admit, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was expecting it to be um, very plasticky and very fragile. It's actually very solid and very firm. Um, it does have a plastic outer case, but this, is, this feels as if it's all metallic on the front. Yeah, okay. The unit, power cables, Media cable, USB cable, reel, so you can transfer your, your films onto. Different uh, sized uh, spigots, so you can change for different reels. A little cleaner puffer brush, and the manual. So what I'm gonna do now is sit down and read the manual, and um, I'll set this up. Well, here it is in action. It was actually pretty straightforward. Um, I've, as you can see, I've got it plugged into a television there. So rather than appearing in a small screen, you can actually see what you're recording there. And at the moment, <laughs> that's a, I was on a sailing ship. I think uh, we're back in the 1970s here. And um, so the film is going through and being scanned frame by frame. So, uh, I found the whole process very, very straightforward, except I've just realised I haven't. I missed... That's interesting. Um, I forgot to put the uh, film around that sprocket there, but it's still functioning. I've got to say, from the point of view of um, operation, uh, setting it up, it was very simple and very straightforward. When I'm finished scanning this film, I'll go through that with you and then um, I'll show you. But uh, so far, so good. The idea is to lift that up. This goes in this direction. And as you will see, there is a section here is where you can slot the film and then take up the slack a little bit. The idea is to come under the tab, go under the middle one and then under the second one. Now you should make sure that you've given yourself plenty of uh, reel at the back here so you can wind them around these little spigots. We turn it on and then we push this button here to start. And that's what comes up on the screen. You go again, please wait. And away it goes. Now, this particular film has a long lead in, a white, and so you're not gonna see anything until we get to the film, which is just starting to come off the spool now. 
I don't remember what's on this film, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise for me. At the moment, it's going through frame by frame and scanning each frame. And I just thought I'd show you, this is one of the ones I uh, scanned earlier. Now we can see that. And on the other side here, that's where, when the frame was out a bit, you can just see the spigot. There we go. There's a scene of me back in 1976. Anyway. So, where we go. Ah, I remember where this, this is, uh, some friends of mine. I used to live in the country, and they came down to visit me. You want to uh, rewind. So what we do, we take that off there, and we take that off there. This circ goes around anti-clockwise. Put this on here. So you thread your film in and go around. You go to menu, and if you look there, you can see it says uh, you come to rewind, you push the enter button, push go, and now it's rewinding. Okay, so, so far so good. So, can it do larger reels? Yes, I'm going to do it. Take that off. So my understanding is the thing that you have to be careful of with these, these were made up of, I think one, two, three, four, three minute reels. And they were edited using a device that uh, you use a razor blade and glue. So that's, you've got to be, I, these are fairly clean. I know I did a pretty good job, but that's the one thing that can actually trip you up when going through the gate, so you've just got to be careful and monitor it. Make sure they've got plenty of on the reel. So we'll stick it down here. How we put the uh, film into the gate. First off, there's a little spigot up this end. We make sure that that goes under there. And you got one in the middle. And then one at the very end. And that's it. You then close the gate and we are ready to go. And I did it again. I forgot to put this. There we go. Whoops, I forgot to. Uh oh, uh, I. I'm stopping. So, here we go. Here's a trap for the unwary. I started doing this, and um, I forgot to wind them around here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it now. Okay, now this is actually a good example of what you can do. So in essence what I've done, I've created one short capture of that film and I'll now capture, please wait, and it's going to capture version 2 of that film. Later in post I can put them together. So I just go to show you, you've got to be uh, on the ball. I think I was in a rush. But I, in a way, I hope that helps you. Um, so far, so good. The, um, and it's proving to be a very robust machine and uh, seems to be handling most things I'm throwing at it.
We're getting near the end of this, uh, this reel. This has taken close to two hours to actually do. One thing I, I was concerned about, whether it might get hot, but the truth is, no, it doesn't get hot. I mean, I've been running all day, so what I've done, what, four smaller tapes plus one big seven inch reel and um, hasn't missed a beat. Here we go. Okay, this is the end of the film. That's it. So, I've put through four small three inch reels and I've put one seven inch reel through. Uh, I've been operating some, for something like half a day and hasn't missed a beat. So my final thoughts on the film scanner, um, I'm very impressed. Let's have a look at some of the, uh, some of the stuff I've captured. Okay. So this was the first one, and this was a group of uh, young farmers that I was a, a member of some years ago, <laughs> 1976 to be precise. Um, we went on a sailing trip out on Port Phillip Bay, it was one of those replica uh, Sailing vessels. <laughs> There's me. There we go. My God, look at those. Look at those sideboards. So as far as the quality of the the films are concerned, they're about what the the original quality. So that's not bad. I'm actually quite quite pleased. <laughs> oh my God, talk about memories. Here we go, Hoonsville. Very happy with these. <laughs> Old motorbike event I shot years ago. Again, around 1976 or 77. Can't remember the exact year. Considering the uh, quality of the original films, um, I think the scanner has done a very good job. <laughs>